What's going on, coolies of the Cooley Nation? This is your boy, Show Enough, to bring to you yet another episode of The Joy of Design. And today, the Storm Shadow inspired design takes center stage. So we're going to hop in on this cosplay. We're going to click on style. Rather, we're going to go to the style tab and we're going to click on colors. Now we're going to go from left to right what these colors are. All right. And first off, we're going to go for uh, all white, which is just basically F. So again, we're just going to go for white. For deep red color here, it's going to be 9A1000. For metallic gray, which will be 767676. And finally, for a nice pale gold color, which will be optional, of course, which will be 8A5F1E. Yeah, it's almost safe to say this is kind of a coyote brown color. That was a coyote brown color there, so I don't want to say gold. Let's just say it's coyote brown. So the skin, eyes, hair, and makeup, we're just going to gray hit ignore. We're going to click save to that. And we're just going to head over to our styles here. All right. So for the headpiece, I've used the League of Assassins. And this just gives it a bit of a broody, mysterious look. All right. A bit of a broody, if not of a ominous, mysterious look. For the face piece, I chose nothing. We're going to go over to the accessories, and I chose the green smoke aura. Again, this is this green smoke aura, just to add a bit of a pop to the red and white here. And it just, just overall just adds a bit of depth to the outfit. You know, instead of just using a red smoke aura or anything that is red or anything that is black, anything that is white, anything that is not green i just chose the green smoke or and again this just adds a bit of a flavor and a bit of a pop to the outfit for the shoulder i chose the viking shoulder piece this is one of my favorite versatile um shoulder pieces here one of my favorite shoulder items here in the game now for the emblem i chose the yin yang and if you notice I don't like whoever that is in the middle of that emblem and I hope that Daybreak Games are watching this video because it is sitting right there. It wasn't there before until I put on the Yin Yang emblem and I hope that they will remove that soon so that we could see this emblem in its entirety. For the handpiece, um, this would be the League of Assassins, it, this, just adds, it, this just adds a bit of the theme it just adds to the theme basically the style just adds to the theme of this outfit and for the waist piece i chose the checkmate operative for the feet i chose prideful okay for the chest piece i chose the daring vigilante and this is one of the more versatile chest pieces that you know that I would normally go to just to create a dozen of styles with this and uh, the options is up to you and how you want to utilize I want to move away from this guy because people tend to really distract me while I'm doing this video and I am determined to get this done because to be honest with you I have already I was I was done with this video several times before and I had to do a lot of retakes because just a bunch of people just come to me and it, it comes with the territory when you, when you you know when you do uh, presentations like this in the open world all right so again I chose the Darren Vigilante um, chess piece there and I, I, I've used this I used the chest and the legs before in the past um, episodes of Joy Designing uh, rather more so just the chest piece the leg piece this is just something entirely new um, to the series and, and that is the Dark Spectre bat suit. Okay, again, this is a Dark Spectre bat suit. Now, I chose these two styles before. Again, like I said, I used this in my Batwoman Beyond um, cosplay. So, you know, this is something not necessarily entirely new, but 
I just want to showcase again the versatility of these styles and the two alone you can just create a dozen of styles and for the back piece I chose the Amazon pole march now you can use the Amazon soldier um, back piece there and just for the one-handed but I, I chose to represent the two-handed or rather the dual wield um, motif there so once you're done you'll click save and the results here is this so this is something that I really 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 enjoy and I hope that for anybody out there that wants a more of a ninja um, inspired you know outfit you know you can definitely utilize this you know this style here now I primarily use this for my female of course you can try this on your male avatar if it work if it looks great go for it you can post it on the forums just let them know that this video has definitely inspired you as well and um, you know for me I grew up you know watching GI Joe even playing GI Joe toys and all that um, but the thing of it is however is um, Storm Shadow just really grabbed, it's really grabbed me and this is not the accurate depiction of the character per se but you know the the character really inspired this outfit as you see here so I hope that this style has also inspired you to create your variant or your version of Storm Shadow or something like it if not the exact the exact copy of this style and of course if you want to use it just make sure that you are crediting myself just let everybody know that hey just come over to at youtube.com slash h2h project to enjoy the joy of designing series thank you guys for watching and of course you can never be too old again by his grace show enough <laughs> Look at me, I'm all the way turned up. I ain't smoking, but my homie in here burnt 